Hi, uh, this is Lucy here. I wanted to go over this week's module with you. I hope everything's going good with you. Um, so I'm going to click on modules. And we're going to scroll down to module five. So module five coincides with chapter five. And this is on forms of business ownership and organization. So actually, we just kind of came out of international marketing. Now we're going into more of the entrepreneurship modules. So modules five and six go hand in hand. So let's look at these learning objectives. There's quite a few of them here, but we're going to talk about like why most uh, why most businesses are small businesses. So typically any business that has 500 or fewer employees is considered a small business. So that makes up about 97% of the businesses in the United States. And um, so typically when we think about a business, we think about Walmart or Target. And these are major corporations, conglomerates that um, buy, where you can buy and sell or you can invest in the company by buying stock in the company. They're publicly traded companies. We're going to look at the contributions of small businesses to the economy. So with so many businesses in, in the United States being considered a small business, having fewer or less than uh, 500 employees, of course, this makes a huge impact on our U.S. economy, provides lots of jobs for, for workers in the private sector, and um, so it helps, uh, it, it helps the economy immensely. Um, discuss why small businesses fail. Typically, small businesses are going to fail for a number of reasons. And that could be to management shortcomings. So you have someone who wants to be an entrepreneur or a small business owner, but they lack kind of the business acumen or skills or knowledge that is needed in order to really start a business and sustain it past the two-year mark or even the five-year mark. Um, also, it could be inadequate financing. So someone goes into business, but yet they lack the funds to launch their business or, um, you know, whether it's getting commercial property to, to house a store or a, an office. Typically, a lot of small business owners will have their home office. Um, so it's just not having enough money to get it going. Uh, also, you could government regulations. So you've probably heard a lot in the press about how some small business owners are having to downsize or lay off people because they can't afford to give them insurance. Some states, if not countrywide, requires if you have someone that works for you full time, you need to provide health care for them. You need to have that option. So. Some of the government regulations involving like taxes for small business or even the paperwork just to kind of do your business um, can, can keep people from it succeeding. So the features of a successful business plan. This is really laid out for you in your text and you definitely, um, you definitely should have a supplemental resource on this. If not, I'll, I'll definitely add that in for you throughout this week. But um, a small business plan is just essentially a written document that allows you to develop um, your goals for your business. How are you going to measure your goals? And so it, it could be everything from who's going to be working the business, what role will they take, what is your marketing plan, what are your financial projections, how do you see your expenses going over the next three years, and then also your revenue and sales. So it's just a written document. It is required. Um, the two top small business bank lenders in this in the Cincinnati, Ohio area is Huntington Bank and U.S. Bank. So those are the two main banks that will loan um, small business loans out to entrepreneurs. Um, so let's see here. Identify the available assistance for small businesses. Actually, the SBA.gov is a great website, and I'm pretty sure you have this um, in your supplemental materials. We're going to look at those in here in a minute. But it is a great small business administration. I actually do some service work with this organization. It's a nonprofit federal agency that helps entrepreneurs. So definitely if you're wanting to start your own business or if you're already in your own business, check out this um, U.S. Small Business Administration website. There's tons of resources on here and um, you can even um, 
create your business plan as well. So if you want to even write a business plan, there's a digital template that will help you do that. So you'll be able to actually get that going here on this website. Let's see here. Okay. And um, so there's lots of other uh, organizations. Here locally, there is a incubator hub that's in uh, the downtown Cincinnati, Cincinnati area. It's called HCDC. And so again, I just um, want to show you. Let's see here, if this is the correct website. Yeah, here it is. This is the uh, HCDC incubator system, and as you can see, here's their um, address, 1776 Mentor Avenue. Um, and I've done some, I do some service work here, it's because part of my job I have to, to do service work, and so I do work as a business mentoring coach for local entrepreneurs. So again, there's tons of information, tons of resources here for you. So if this is you, if you're an entrepreneur or looking, or if you have a business idea and you want to go in that direction, please check out these um, resources. Um, explain franchising. Yes, franchising like Subway, Dunkin' Donuts. That's just when, if you have the money, to go and so you're going to do an activity on this but if you have the startup requirement funds you can buy a Subway or a Dunkin Donuts for example of course there's tons of other global um, franchises but essentially you buy into a proven business model um, you can't sway off that business model you have to kind of market the company the way they tell you to you can't change the menu items so there's some drawbacks to that but it's pretty much you buy a proven business model and you hit the ground running from day one with that. Um, and then of course you have other organizations like corporations, again that I mentioned like Walmart and Target that have um, boards of directors who oversee who the chief executive officer is or the CEO, you have stockholders. So anybody can go buy stock in a company. Yahoo Finance is a great website for looking at um, looking at like stock quotes. You can actually do a search for different companies, find out how much their stock is trading for. And we could just let's just put in. Let's see here. Well, it's not what. There we go. Let's put in Target. If it'll, it'll, it'll get to that. <laughs> um, looks like the website's kind of slowing down here. So hang on one second. Let's, I'm going to exit out of these and, and let's go back into it. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if that'll get it. I'll try to, I'll come back to that. For some of you, I never have any problems with that website. But Yahoo Finance, that's the resource. You can look up that information. Um, and of course, businesses will merge together, do joint partnerships together. The, some businesses will buy other businesses or acquire or do an acquisition. So there's different kind of strategies involved with that. So let's look at your activities for this week. You're going to be doing a, let's scroll back down a discussion forum on franchising, and then you have a chapter five quiz. Both of these are due Sunday, March the 4th by 11.59 p.m. Keep in mind, you can get them done early, whatever, work around your schedule. Um, but the discussion forum is on franchising, and you have a website, top 10 global franchises, but there's others out there, like there's even one out there now, the top global franchises in 2017, or so, you can use whatever resource you want, but I have given you this, and as you can see, here are some top resource uh, franchises right here. And what I would like for you to do is answer some questions about it. Um, being, 
choose one that interests you and evaluate the information about all startup costs and requirements to open the franchise. So I essentially want you to let everyone in the class know, I mean, how much does it cost to start this franchise? What's involved money-wise to get it going? And then re reflect on if you would consider a partnership with someone you know, why or why not. And again, these are the module learning outcomes associated with this uh, discussion. Just shows you how this discussion form aligns with this module's learning objectives and the chapter objectives and why this is a valuable discussion for us to have as a class. And um, okay, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll talk to you soon. See you on the discussion form. Bye.